Hello, my name is Bo Hanum and I'm a full-time luthier in Grand Junction, Colorado from Australia. And I'm introducing the Luthiers Finishing Station by Total Vice, made by Jeff Howard. And I'll run through the features uh, just one at a time. The first thing is it's on a base that you can wheel around, so it's really handy to get from a spray booth to where else you might need it. While the finishing station is already pretty heavy, I like to lower the center of gravity by just putting some weights on there, and that's usually my various gallons of thinners and finishes. The base is in three parts, so it's a telescoping post, basically, much like the Total Vice telescoping pedestal, but the height ranges from, let's just say, low enough to high enough. I'm six foot and this raises the guitar body higher than I would ever need it, and it goes as low as I would possibly ever need it. So it's got the complete range of what a sprayer needs. So I'll just go through how to load the instrument. This is a square piece of tube. I'm not sure if that's the correct terminology, but uh, square uh, means that the instrument can't spin this way. The first version of this had a round one. We realized that it needed a square one. This has gone through about 10 versions and this is actually the prototype. So the delivered one will be uh, even nicer than this one. But the square one goes in first. The finishing station comes with one acoustic holder like this and one electric holder which is the same long post a little bit longer post with a uh, electric style uh, screw in plate very handy that can also be used for dovetails this is for mortise and tenon bolt-on necks and you load the guitar up like this this is actually the first prototype, so the delivered post will be a much nicer design that Jeff came up with, much thinner and easier to bolt. And you load the guitar into the end of the square post here. And if you want, you can get it in this configuration, then load it like that. And like all of Total Vice products, if you loosen one thing, tighten it back up. Only loosen one knob at a time, otherwise you'll find yourself trying to wrestle like a foot on bed and you'll lose. So you may have noticed these two items here. These are safety rings and they're really important because when you put one of these on here and tighten it up, it means that if I loosen this, Without the uh, safety ring, this could, the guitar could fall through this blue area here, this square, and the guitar would drop. So always have the safety ring on. To protect the instrument from any damage, the front of the wheel has been covered in rubber, and I like to wrap that rubber in some low-tech masking tape just so it doesn't disintegrate with all the thinners and acetone. So this may be a little hard to see, but uh, the, the guitar body is centered within the circle or the carousel. If I move this in, it might be a little bit easier to see, but it's a fairly even amount from the top to the bottom here. So with everything locked in place, the square tube is locked back here. This is locked and this is locked. I can now loosen the axle and this is able to spin 360 degrees without touching anything and because the wheel is weighted it doesn't just flop around like it's out of control it's always where it should be now if you're spraying your clear coat I find it easier to put this at what I call the nine o'clock position so the handle is at nine o'clock and then tighten it up again so this knob here means the wheel can't turn now but if I loosen this, now I can turn the instrument within the carousel. The first time you load the guitar up, you just want to be careful when you're spinning this to make sure that it doesn't touch the back of the wheel. If it looks like it is going to, you just have to extend the instrument out a little bit more with the square tube. And now to spray clear coats, I can, you know, I have full access to the sides and then I usually do the back second and lastly I do the top. 
and after I've done the top you can either leave this to sit so the finish settles with this facing up or you can leave it facing down so it's really easy to get a super flat finish especially if you add some retarder thinners to your lacquer and when you do the last coat you just leave this up and assume you've got no dust in the air uh, you will get a super, super uh, flat finish. So where the finishing station really excels is uh, getting a really easy to apply sunburst. The old way, for me the old way, and a way I'm never going back to, of doing a sunburst is to hold the guitar like this, and this is how I did it anyway. Hold the guitar like this with the spray gun with a fan like that, and you manipulated at the same time the guitar going anti-clockwise and the gun going clockwise and you sort of got this reasonably nice motion however getting to this point you're doing acrobats with everything and it uh, your arm starts hurting and it's not nice however with the finishing station you can it's really simple to get a perfect burst really easy without having to manipulate the direction of the fan from this configuration to this configuration or to turn it into a circle because you can just continually move this around and keep the gun reasonably stationary with the fan always as a fan like this I suppose you could do it this way, but why would you? <laughs> you could just do it this way. And it's really, really easy to get a nice, smooth sunburst that you're not straining your back over, you're not straining either of your arms, and uh, it's, it's, this is the easiest burst I've ever sprayed in 20 years. So this is what I call the first position. The second position is just another way to spray uh, some electric guitar sprayers like to do it in the second position and that is to flop this down into what we affectionately call the lazy susan configuration this is too high at the moment so i'll just drop this down it's probably safer to drop it down without the guitar in there but i'm filming so in this configuration you could spray the sides completely like this and then you could hit the back and then the top, or you could just be spraying this, you know, a burst in that configuration. So there's an endless array of possibilities just to suit your style of spraying. There's no right or wrong, it's just whatever you find easiest. I never spray like that really. I always spray in the upright configuration, the, what I call the first position, but uh, you know, each to their own. Here's some footage of me using the Total Vice Luthi's finishing station to spray a burst on a slope shoulder dreadnought. This is just tobacco brown and I'm using a 0.8 millimeter gun from uh, Homestead Finishers, Jeff Jewett. I've got to say after spraying bursts for 20 years, this is the easiest burst I've ever sprayed. Just the ability to spin the guitar is phenomenal it is so nice to be able to do that in this configuration which i wouldn't normally use but i just wanted to show what it could do uh, i'm putting on a dry nitro coat over the burst to seal it in uh, so this is as low as it goes it's about i'm six foot and it's about belly button height or waist height and here you, it would be really easy and nice position to just be spraying like this uh, it just depends on if you prefer to spray you know, at a slight angle down or right onto it. So the Luthi's finishing station was designed to make spraying as easy as possible. It just puts the instrument exactly where you want it. And like the proper workstation or the crossover mini vice or any of the other amazing products that Total Vice sell, it's just to save your back, save your arms. Uh, if you are fatigued, you're not gonna do good work. It brings the job to you exactly where you want it and need it. It's not, you're not ever spraying in this bizarre direction or angle. You're not swinging a guitar from a ceiling. It's just exactly where you want. And for bursting and clear coats, it just is so much easier. It's just superior to anything else I've ever done 
in 20 years so it's it's fantastic it's changed my perspective of spraying a burst uh, I you know it's finishing I still hate finishing everyone does but uh, it does make it a lot easier to do more enjoyable and it I, I'm getting better results as soon as I use this I just thought this is the way so Cheers. To check out the Luthi's finishing station, check out totalvice.com and look under Luthier Tools and you'll find it on that page. Enjoy. Yeah.